Citicone is a substance that is naturally produced in our body and it is often used for improving our brain performance. But does it really work? Let's find out. Hey, what's up? Greg here, the founder of Your Own Inception. Welcome to my channel where you can learn top secrets about nootropics. Subscribe below to start your journey. Today we're gonna talk about Citicone. Now, Citicone is growing in its popularity. It is, you know, used in many uh, supplements, many nootropic stacks for different reasons. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the main benefits of supplementing Citicone. What's the difference between Citicone and Cognizin? And you know, at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you if you should supplement it or no. Now, Citicone is a building block of cell membranes and it is instrumental in affecting the brain's ability to produce acetylcholine. And as you might know, acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter often connected to memory. So obviously, Citicone has something to do with our memory and yes, one of the main benefits is it can improve our memory. But the funny thing is that original citicoline was developed in Japan to treat stroke and later on it was introduced on the European market as a prescription drug while it has always been marketed as a dietary supplement in the United States. Now a lot of people are confused what is really the citicoline and what is cognizant because those two names are often related and, and used together and what's the real difference? Now, Cognizant is just a clinically tested type of citicoline. It is a patented form. So usually you're gonna find a Cognizant in most nootropic stacks, in most supplements, because that has been patented, that has been clinically studied, and you know, it shows all the benefits that we're gonna mention. Now, before we mention all the benefits, just keep one thing in mind. You can get some citicoline from choline sources that are found in, in different types of foods, such as beef, eggs, and seafood, for example. But to get the brain boosting effects of citicoline, you definitely have to consider supplementing it. Now, when it comes to all the benefits that I mentioned before, obviously the main and the most important benefit of citicoline or cognizant in this case is that it, it can improve our memory. There have been several studies done on humans and, and they show you know, all the benefits on how uh, cognizant can actually improve memory in people with some kind of issues with you know, memory issues, uh, memory impairment, even people with brain injury and so on. Now, as far as I know, Cognizant was not tested on humans without any, uh, you know, brain related or memory related issues, but first results, first studies, or at least first reviews from experts show um, a lot of potential here. Now, the second benefit that I want to mention is that Citicone improves circulation in the brain. And that's another reason why Citicone or Cognizant can be used as a memory booster because an improved circulation can improve our memory, but it can do all sorts of stuff such as help with uh, fatigue or help against fatigue and help to prevent stroke, for example. Now, another benefit is that citicoline can protect the brain against different harmful agents. All right, let's go to the next benefit, which is uh, supplementing citicoline can slow down cell aging in the brain. Besides that, citicoline can improve our mood and it can also help us with vision enhancement. Now, there are a lot of studies done. If you want to read, you know, my detailed review, all additional studies, there's a link below. You can check it out. But, you know, I just wanted to lay those benefits in front of you just that you know how important Citicone is and, you know, all the potential benefits that it has on our body and our brain performance. Now, when it comes to the side effects, Citicone and Cognizant are considered safe, especially when taken in the recommended daily dosage. If you do experience any kind of side effects, you know, do consult your doctor. And you know, honestly, I would recommend consulting your doctor before you take supplementing it, just to be on the safe side. And by the way, guys, if you use L-Dopa, it is not recommended combining it with citicoline. Now, when it comes to the recommended dosage, it is usually between 250 milligrams to one gram per day. In most entropic stacks, in most you know, uh, supplements, you're gonna find somewhere between 100 to 200, maybe 300 milligrams of citicoline. And this is kind of on the low end. Now my recommendation is to be, to start off somehow at 250 milligrams per day and then gradually increase the dosage uh, based on, you know, how you feel, what you experience and so on. Personally, I've been taking citicoline as an individual compound for some time, but I do prefer it as a part of a tropic stack because it's more effective and you can, you know, get all additional benefits that a tropic stack can provide. Now, my final recommendation is personally, I definitely believe citicoline 
or you know cognizant is a very effective very interesting tropic that should be on a daily menu of someone who wants to have an improved cognition and improved memory now you know it's always difficult to talk about you know benefits of nootropics if you know not enough studies have been done but city you know it is a natural compound basically it is you can find choline in our body uh, you know you, you can find you can easily see all the benefits from it because there have been a lot of studies done already and it definitely seems like a very safe nootropic now having said this I always you know and really always recommend consulting a doctor anyway you know just to be on the safe side um, and you know cycling it is also important like I personally stay five days on two days off with all the tropics if there aren't any particular tropics in the stack that that you know uh, need some kind of special treatment um, you know just to be on the safe side if you want to read more about city calling there's a link below check it out if you have any questions don't hesitate to contact me don't forget to follow uh, your inception on Facebook and Instagram and I hope to see you soon guys